mindset mentor, life coach, spiritual nomad, a lot of things. I am traveling around Indonesia currently and I am in Jakarta today. That's right. And it wouldn't be a trip to Jakarta if I did not go to the malls. It is known as the land of a thousand malls anyways. And today is a very special day because I am in Grand Indonesia. Many people have told me to make content here and I'm finally here. It's even more special because we had to ask permission to be here and we got granted access to film in the mall, which not a lot of people get. So we are so lucky to be filming our experience here in one of Jakarta's biggest malls. Are you ready for the experience together? Let's go! Indonesia is that there is no fourth floor. The four is missing. Why? Because in Chinese, the four means C and C is dead. It means dead. So the fact that there's no fourth floor, we are skipping from three to five. How interesting. We're missing the dead floor. <laughs> the dead floor four. So in Grand Indonesia, there's a sky bridge which connects the West Mall and the Eastern Mall. And we're on floor five, has so many food places to visit. So we see lots of people dining in and we might go check out some food, we might try on some clothes, lots and lots of things. So we have a we have a big adventure ahead of us here in Grand Indonesia. Okay, so you'll see here that there's the ground floor and it goes up to one, two, three, three A. There's no fourth floor because in Chinese that is not a good number, it means dead. And then also there's no six, because in Indonesia, six is not a great number and 13 isn't as well, I just learned. There's no six or 13 in any of the Indonesian floors or buildings. Isn't that so interesting? It's fascinating. In Chicago, where I'm from, we have a lot of malls as well. But a lot of the malls do not have this view. This is awesome. We get full view of the city. We can see all the traffic on the street. Normally in the malls that I'm used to, there's no view. It's just like an enclosed shopping mall. So this is really special and unique about Grand Indonesia is you get to shop and see the city and eat and hang and enjoy not getting wet from the rain. <laughs> So you might be wondering, why do I think a shopping mall is so cool? We have shopping malls in the US, but it is so interesting to do the side-by-side -side comparison of what a mall is like in Indonesia and what a mall is like in the States. And it's, they're similar, they are similar, but there's a lot of differences. There's a lot more different food restaurants, there's a different view. The malls here are just huge, with so much infrastructure, whereas in the States it's a lot more simple. There's just a lot of stores, yeah, there's the escalators and whatnot, but like here it's like a spectacle. It's really magnificent to see and it's really fun to be hanging out in the malls. So thanks Jakarta. <laughs> thanks for a fun mall time. Of course, as you know, I'm exploring Jakarta with my lovely friend Susan. Exploring Grand Indonesia together. Yes. And we're gonna try on some clothes. We're, we're gonna so get, excited. We're so excited yes. that we get to have this experience together exactly. to show you all. Perfect. Ready? Yes, I am. Let's go. These malls are just so huge. Like there's one thing after the other. There's so many stores, so many places to eat, and now there's this huge little ballroom for events to happen on the weekend. And you hear the water fountains in the background. So many things. This really is Grand Indonesia. Grand Indonesia, you are grand. <laughs> There's so many cute things in here. Everything's so pretty. 
I am in Alun Alun, which is a batik store, which is traditional Indonesian clothing. And everything is so beautiful. I want to try on so many things. There's all of this traditional outfits. I wish you could feel the material in this. This is like beautiful. And the colors are amazing. Batik is like a very interesting design that they take beeswax and different color of dyeing and it takes a long time to make. So these are like really intricate clothing. And I, I hope, fingers crossed, I can try some on. We'll ask the store if we can. So cute, but so mahal. Mungkin nanti saya bisa Mungkin nanti. What do you think? Cute or not? Imut atau tidak? Imut. Already packing. Come with me. I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. So I'm trying traditional clothing. This is called Tanun and it's very beautiful. It's like I feel like I could wear this every day. I want everything in the store. <laughs> this is dangerous. <laughs> Tanun. I love this. This can go with anything, right? Like you could wear every day. Okay, and the price, the important part, Harga. This one is 745,000 rupiah. Oops, there we go. So nice. This is wonderful. I wish I knew this store existed before. But actually, if I knew this store existed, I'd probably spend all of my money, so maybe it's a good thing. <laughs> okay, now for other traditional clothing. Let's go. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I feel Balinese. So pretty. It fits perfectly too. It's like made for me and my color purple. So nice. This is beautiful. Like and the t and the it's so silky. <laughs> Do you want to see? It's so funny. <laughs> So I actually, we have our own kabayas in Bali and our sarongs and this reminds us very much of the Balinese clothing which is very similar it's to so the beautiful. Javanese clothing. Yeah. Yeah. It's Different texture. Similar, but it's really beautiful and yeah. I think the quality is absolutely amazing. Yeah, this right? quality is, you can yes. tell by the pricing too. It's True. a way more mahal but the quality is incredible. Yeah, I love it. So we look a little bit less boule now. Less boule. Boule or local? <laughs> I love it. I don't want to get out of this. I I'll just have to be shopping in this all day. <laughs> okay, I'm going to try batik now. So nice! So this is traditional batik. You can tell by the texture. And so traditional batik, it's like the... There's a special process that you use. Special technique to make this color and this dress. So beautiful, I want it. Also has, this one's really cute too. I love it. So it's Javanese, batik is Javanese. Okay, so batik is the Javanese technique. And there's so many clothes, so many beautiful clothes with this technique. I feel local. Yay! Time to go back to being boule. <laughs> So this mall, there's actually a lot of stores that are similar to the US. We have Bath and Body Works, there's Victoria's Secret, there's H&M. So it feels a little homey in a piece of Indonesia. So this is a little exhibit for Chinese New Year, which is coming up in about two weeks or so. And so this is so cute in the mall. A lot of Indonesians, especially here in Jakarta, celebrate. Oops. <laughs> celebrate Chinese New Year. So we're gonna take a look and go inside. What's in here?
in Indonesia and the only one here in Grand Indonesia. And this robot is making beverages and it's so mesmerizing to watch. So literally you just pay 13,000 rupiah, which is super cheap, for any drink. And then it just goes, takes the ice, puts the sauce in, puts the coffee, whatever you're drinking. It's fascinating. I am like, I'm blown away. I could sit here all day and just watch this. This is amazing. This is so cool. I've never seen anything like this really at all. This is fascinating. Grand Indonesia, you are blowing my mind again and again and again and again and again and again. We're getting ready to order. Okay, so we're getting the ice premium chocolate and then hot, hot green tea latte part. And then we need go play. Go pay to pay. It's 13,000 rupiah each drink. Um, okay. Yeah, it's hot Whoa. So you use your app of GoPay and you scan it and then it takes the money out of your account. Digital world. time but that actually was pretty quick to get our drinks I don't know if I prefer the robot or a human I think a human is actually nicer to interact with and it can make it quicker but still the robot was really cool to watch this was a really cool experience coffee and matcha latte by a robot <laughs> how cool my first time let's see how it is it's really sweet Really sweet matcha, but still decent. Not the best matcha latte I've ever had, but still good. I'll take it, robot. I will take it. <laughs> Where's the robot to help me when I need it? <laughs> okay, there we go. Okay, here we go. Mmm. Okay. The chocolate is really really good i think i prefer the chocolate to the matcha but that's okay good job robot thank you robot appreciate you if i got you in the shopping mood just a reminder that you can check out my tokopedia page i finally have a tokopedia shop that's selling my lumbuck freshwater pearls earrings bracelets necklaces we can match or you can buy a loved one some jewelry and then I can match with them. So check it out, link in the description, and let's keep on shopping together, shall we? a little bit of food. This was recommended because it's the cheapest sushi here that people have seen in Jakarta. And looking at these prices, it's super cheap compared to Bali. Like normally each plate can be, oh, <laughs> thank you. Oh, amazing. Um, so normally in Bali, the plates can range from like 10K to 50K. Here, the plates range from 10K to 20K. So I'm so excited to eat some sushi because we've been walking around and we need to refuel. We're starting off with some tea. Cheers. anything about me you know that I love sushi trains that's my favorite kind of restaurant this is gonna be so fun there's different colors for the different plates and the color means how much it costs so here it's really cheap and that makes me very happy because good food cheap food is happy heart happy stomach so let's get to eating lots of sushi Yeah, message 
message us. Yeah, thank you so much. So nice to meet you. Amazing. Thank you so much. Okay, Grand Indonesia is ginormous. It is huge and it's so easy to get lost here. Like I have no idea where we are. We're constantly just like roaming around like a maze. And they have said that security many times a lot of their job is just to help people figure out where they're going because you can get real lost here real quick. We made it though to our last stop, which is Forever 21. So we're gonna shop around and it's been bankrupt in many areas, especially in the US. I haven't been able to go to a Forever 21 in a long time, but it's here. So we're gonna check it out. And then I think I'm gonna be shopped till I dropped. So we're gonna end the video here, but we're gonna take a look at Forever 21 first. <laughs> Shopping in Indonesian is belanja, belanja, and I always get confused because learning is belajar, belanja, belajar, a <laughs> little bit of a difference, Indonesian with Nikki. And then clothes is baju, right? Baju. But this is sweater. This is what? Sweater. Okay, this is sweater. <laughs> sweater. And in English, sweater. <laughs> but clothes, in general, clothes, baju. I think I'm all shopped out, you guys. It's been a long day here, so thank you so much for exploring Grand Indonesia with me. If you enjoyed this video, please like, smash that like button, comment below what you thought, and I love connecting with you. And then, of course, subscribe to my channel for more adventures with me, travel adventures, yoga, wellness, all of the things. Thank you so much, and I hope to see you on my videos again soon. Bye!